I will tell you, I love this weather, Larissa, but it's, it kicks up my allergies. It does. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure if it was London that beat me down or the weather. Probably a little bit of both. A little bit of both. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. The, yeah. it's, it's grass weeds. We were looking at this all last week yeah. because Natasha and I were suffering too. All right. So it's it's grass, I got grass my tea are... here and I'll just sip along as I listen yes, to your forecast. That always, that always helps. Tea, just drink hot things, warm things for your throat because, yeah, the allergy season, man, it kicks up during this time of the year. And we're usually really dry, at least that's what it's been like. Uh, but we are going to see rain chances quickly return to our region by the time the weekend rolls in. So we're dry for the majority of this week. But by the weekend, we're tracking Ian ourselves because that storm is going to bring rain our way. So that's exactly where I'm going to start us off. We're tracking Hurricane Ian. That is a big story as far as the weather department is concerned. And here it is. It's a powerhouse. It made landfall earlier this morning across western Cuba. Right now, it's packing sustained winds at 125 miles an hour, moving north at around 12 miles an hour, a category three storm. And this is what Florida can expect. We are talking torrential rain, catastrophic conditions, especially across western Florida. The Tampa Bay area could receive up to 20 inches of rain. That's a whole lot of rain. But aside from that, one of the biggest threats whenever we deal with hurricanes is always the storm surge. And Florida, right up against the peninsula here, we could be seeing storm surge as high as 10 feet in. In some spots, which is why it's no wonder they have mandatory evacuations. Back here at home, it's actually smooth sailing. No surprise, we're looking at high pressure that's building and has built over the region and will continue to generate really nice weather. As Ian's moisture moves up the deep south and into the mid Atlantic, we're going to be tapping into some of that moisture. And that starts on Saturday. And notice it continues at least through Monday of next week, Jim. Thank you very much, Larissa.